Hi, scholars. If you happen to be one that is confused about where the graphs of the trig functions even come from and why they look the way they do with those wavy lines, if you're confused about that, this is the video for you. That's what I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you where the graph of y equals sine of x comes from. And I'll let you do cosine of x on your own. All right, so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to plot the values of sine of x for a bunch of different angles of x. And we're going to see what the shape of the curve looks like. Now remember that depending on what the angle is, sine of that angle will have a different value. For example, sine of 0, look on your unit circle, see the uh, y value of this point right here? That's 0. So sine of 0 equals 0. So I go down to my graph and where I see an angle of 0 I'm just going to plot 0. Okay? Now, let's go up to the angle of pi over 6. Now, look at that y value. It's increasing. Okay, it's getting larger. So, sine of pi over 6. If you don't remember what this is, look at your unit circle. You're going to see that it's a half. Alright? So here, for our angle of pi over 6, we're going to go up and we're going to mark at 0.5. All right, we're just going to keep going like this. So sine of pi over 3. Look at your unit circle, but the the this distance here, this y value is radical 3 over 2, which is roughly uh, 0 0.87. So it's a little bit less than 1. So let's just mark that there. Now we can see for pi over 2, uh, sine of pi over 2 is just 1. All right, so for pi over 2, we go up here to 1, and we plot that point. Now, continuing around, you see the pattern. Sine of 2 pi over 3, if you look at your unit circle, is going to be roughly 0.87 again. All right, sine of 5 pi over 6, value of sine is decreasing, goes back down to a half. And finally, when our angle is pi, the, the y-coordinate here is 0, so sine goes back down to 0. You can see what's happening here. We're rising up to 1 at pi over 2, and then we're falling back down to 0 at pi. And again, that's because as you go around the unit circle, the y values increase to 1, and then they decrease back to 0 at pi. All right, so we're going to keep going, but now the values get negative. So the y value at 7 pi over 6 is negative one half. The y value at four pi over three will be negative uh, radical three over two. Uh, that's just a little bit before negative one. Okay, the y value for three pi over two is negative one. The y value for sine of five pi over three is back up to negative radical 3 over 2 and the y value for 11 pi over 6 is negative 1 half so we plot that and then for pi over 2 back to where we started the y value is 0 so sine of 2 pi is 0 so I can finish sketching in my curve and there we go that is why the graph of y equals sine of x looks like it does. Starting from 0, just to recap, starting from 0, y value is 0. Then it increases until we get to an angle of pi over 2. Then the value is 1. Decreases to 0 at pi. Then it starts getting negative. More and more and more negative. Finally at 3 pi over 2, it reaches its minimum value of negative 1, then goes back up to zero. So that's why this curve of y equals sine x has that shape.